Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking to you all about asthma in dogs and cats. Now you're probably wondering what? Asthma? Dogs? Asthma? Cats? What? They can have that too. Just like humans, I've got it. Um, animals can get it as well. So cats are more prone to having asthma than um, dogs, but dogs can also still get it as well. I read that somewhere as well. And I think female cats are more likely to get it than male cats. I think I read that somewhere as well. But yes, I was a little bit confused and bedazzled by this as well. And um, I came across a pet sit when I was being trained, when I was doing pet sitting, and this cat needed an asthma puffer. It was just like a human puffer. Um, I think one you can get over the counter. And it didn't have steroid in or something like that. I've never um, used one over the counter. I've always had a prescription one. Um, and I went, oh my God, this is crazy. And I'm actually related to um a vet and i was asking him about this and he goes yep cats and dogs can get asthma just like humans can so yeah anyway if you do think you your dog or cat has asthma or it's like coughing a lot and stuff like that has like a bit of a croaky um not that they can talk but a bit of a croaky voice in their voice box um just take them to your vet and see what they can do but i will read a little bit about asthma here from this website which is petcarerx.com just looks like that little dog there and little cat so that's good how to know if your pet has asthma and how to help a lot of people i know say asthma as an az um but <laughs> i kind of laugh when they say asthma because it's not az it's as but i say asthma am i saying it properly or i don't know anyway just came, I've just come across a couple of people that say asthma and I'm like, what? Anyway, <laughs> I will continue. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just bizarre. Asthma can cause serious health problems for your pet and some animals are more susceptible than others. Here's what you need to know about asthma in dogs and cats. I won't read the whole thing. Um, so just like in humans, the cause of irritation can vary based on the animal's specific allergies. So asthma and allergies relate. Um, as most of you know, with me, I'm allergic to animals, and that's pretty much how I acquired asthma. If I don't think if I had worked with animals um, or had Maddie, I probably wouldn't have asthma. So unfortunately, I think in the future, I probably will never be able to own an animal again, which is so sad. But anyway, we'll see what happens. There might be like more medications coming out in the future. So we will see. Again, excuse my voice. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, causes of asthma. So it's basically like an allergic reaction <clears throat> that they have to an irritant. Now that could mean a type of food, a household cleaning chemical, a virus or an infection. Um, yeah, female cats are more likely to be at risk than male cats. Siamese and Himalayan cats and cats and dogs between the age of two and eight are more susceptible to asthma. Um, additionally, overweight animals can be more prone to asthma attacks. I've never had an asthma attack in my life. My asthma has sort of got worse over the last six or seven months, or maybe not six or seven, maybe five, four or five or something like that, uh, just with constantly coughing and stuff like that. I don't know if my puffer is doing anything for me, um, but for now it's sort of keeping me at bay. But yeah, I've never had an asthma attack because obviously I wasn't born with asthma, so I acquired it. Um... Symptoms, I won't go into too much about that, but it's just got here with cats. This can often look as though the cat is trying to cough up a hairball or furball. Um, wheezing, like I have wheezing every day. I'm pretty much wheezing, you know, all day long, unfortunately. Loss of appetite and weight loss. Severe cases of asthma in cats often result in anorexia or lethargia lethargy that's interesting i did not know that um i'm glad maddie doesn't have asthma <laughs> like trying to give her a puff oh god it'd be a nightmare um treating asthma your best bet is to go to your vet but they'll probably put your cat and dog on an inhaler um 
pretty much the same as a human one. Uh, oral medications, um, and you might even get. Sorry, I'm just reading. Yeah, mainly oral and puffer, but yeah, I've been on like so many different types of tablets and um yeah it's not fun it's really not fun but anyway i'll leave it there um so thanks for watching i just want to give a shout out to m i'm not going to say their full name um for letting me use his dog billy um you'll see him in the next section as well as a quick video of maddie so thanks m thanks guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my social medias you know twitter facebook instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>